What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over all of the accessories that every man should have in his arsenal. Starting with number one, which is a proper watch. Now what I mean by a proper watch is essentially just wearing the appropriate watch with the outfit that you're wearing for that day. So something like this, kind of a Daytona style race watch, essentially you can kind of rock that with casual, you can maybe dress it up to business casual, but just with a black t-shirt, looks totally fine. Now, if you're gonna go super casual and try to wear like a G-Shock or a Casio or something like that, you better be wearing a t-shirt or just a hoodie or something like that because you can't really dress those up. And also, I've said this a million times before, but smartwatches, aka like Apple Watch, Samsung, etc., they're very, very functional and they have their appropriate use, but they're just not stylish, so don't rock them with a suit or any kind of like sweater, dress up, anything like that. So make sure that you're wearing the proper watch for your outfit. Now, moving on to number two, bracelets. Now, when I'm talking about bracelets, I'm talking about wearing, first of all, the appropriate type of bracelet, and second of all, the appropriate amount of bracelets. And you know what I mean. We've all seen the guy that's wearing like 50 bead bracelets on both wrists. What's up, guys? My name's Chad. Have you seen the stock market lately? Don't be that guy. You look like the fifth grader that's wearing way too many Livestrong bracelets. So just don't do that. And another don't as well is rocking them on your wristwatch hand. Because for some reason, guys like to do this a lot where they'll throw on a bunch of different bead bracelets with their watch and it's just too much. It's heavy, it looks weird. It's just, it's just wrong in my opinion. So make sure you're wearing the appropriate amount of bracelets and the appropriate type of bracelets, AKA what I'm wearing right now. Just a simple sterling silver chain link here with the silver watch and a few other types of metal bracelets while we're on the topic. You can throw in one of these. You could actually wear this with what I'm wearing now. Um, just a simple, you know, smaller style. And then you could also rock something bigger along this hand as well. Just kind of mixes up the metals and keeps it clean and elegant. Now let's talk beads. Now obviously there's so many different types of bead bracelets. Um, I've got quite a few and this is not even breaking the iceberg of how many I actually have in my collection. but. Anything like this, I mean, wear two at the max, preferably one, but usually you can get away with rocking two. Um, these are just your standard stretch style. If you have the ones that have like a clasp at the bottom, those work great as well, and they look great. Leathers, ropes, you know, any type of the anchor bracelets, like those are gonna be perfect to rock. Um, and then as far as color, I mean, you can all sign and see, this is pretty, pretty muted for colors with the exception of the bright white and clear here. Um, but just kind of match it to your outfit. Don't be rocking like crazy bright colors. Just match it either to your watch or to the rest of your outfit and you'll be good to go. That brings us to number three, sunglasses. Gentlemen, you have to rock good sunglasses. And what I mean by that is you just have to find a frame that first of all fits your face. You don't want to be the guy that's rocking the huge rock star glasses, right? Or these massive aviators that are just way too big for your head. And the same is said for too small as well. So if you have a big head, kind of like I do, and you're rocking really, really small frames, you're gonna end up looking like Harry Tate off TikTok. If you don't know who he is, look him up because he's hilarious. But anyway, you wanna make sure that the fit is right and the style is appropriate for what you're wearing. Hence the massive like white Oakleys and stuff that were popular in 2005 along with Ed Hardy jeans. Nope, don't wear those. Wear something classic like any of your Clubmaster styles your Wayfarers, Aviators, any kind of classic frame. And my frames of choice come from Jade Black. Now gentlemen, Jade Black offers fantastic sunglasses in real Italian acetate and so many different styles. You've got the Commanders here, which are definitely a great rendition of that original Clubmaster style look. And you've got the Tortoise Shell, you got the simple branding, and you've got CR39 polarized lenses, which make these things just amazing for the value. And all under 50 bucks too, each pair of their sunglasses are. And then you've got more of a traditional Wayfair style with the Spectres. Again, these are Jade Black's CR39 polarized lenses and Italian acetate on the frames as well. And the best part is if you want either of these frames or anything from Jade Black, Click the link in my description below to get yourself a sweet discount on anything from Jade Black's website. Jade Black is crushing it when it comes to the style, the quality, and the price point that you pay for sunglasses as a dude. And they have a fantastic women's selection as well, so make sure you get your girl some sweet shades also. Now, that brings us to number four, which is 
a necklace. Now, I'm not a huge necklace wearer. I typically will wear something that's just like this simple, small chain pendant. If you're gonna rock them, you just kind of make sure that they look right. They're not, you're not wearing too many of the same length. Like for example, if you wanted to rock an 18 inch, a 20 inch and a 22 inch, they could all stack and then you'd have a nice kind of look going on. But make sure that they're not, you know, super heavy chains. You don't wanna be looking like you're trying to be a rapper if you're not. So just make sure that they're simple, elegant, and again, they go with your outfit. Moving on to number five, which is the right wallet. Now, gentlemen, every guy needs a good, slim wallet. This one here from Bellroy is fantastic. This is their slim sleeve, and it comes in that charcoal and tangelo color. Or what's great is you've got quick access here for two cards, cash, and then a bunch of other cards as well with this pull tab. But look how thin this thing is. I mean, it's so thin, it just disappears in your pocket. And that's really what it's all about. You could easily put this in the front pocket if you want, or you could opt for one of Bellroy's card sleeves, which is just kind of a two-sided card sleeve, and then it's got an option for cash in the middle. But rock a slim wallet, guys, because the worst thing you wanna do is look like your dad, where you have this thick wallet that you're sitting on and literally leaves an impression on your butt from where you've been sitting on it for so long because you have all of your shopper and saver cards in there that you could possibly think of. So keep it minimal, keep it sleek, and get a good quality leather wallet. Now that brings us to number six, which is the last item on the list of all accessories that guys should own, which is an organized key holder of some sort. Now this particular one is the Key Cover Plus from Bellroy, and what's great about it is it's leather, the whole thing is leather, but then when you open it up, you've got your keys all organized in there. Now this is the key cover plus from Bellroy, which has two holders for your keys. And what I really like about that is that I can keep like office key, home key and everything on this top one. And then this one down here is large enough to fit my big plastic key for my car. But then what's great is that it all folds up, magnetic closure and boom, slide that right in your pocket. Sleek, slim, leather, very, very cool. You could also rock a key smart if you like those as well. Some of those have some technology in them like tile. You could also get like a key bar, that type of thing. There's a few different companies. However, I suggest Bellroy because you can get these to match like your phone case and your wallet, for example. But good quality and very, very sleek. And it also has a leather key loop right here so that if you did have to put like a key fob on there, you very easily could. That's it, guys. That is my list of all of the accessories that every guy should have on his person at all times. So if you enjoyed the video, drop me one of these and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And drop a comment below if you like this video and if there's anything else that I left out that you think would be a perfect accessory for every guy to wear. Thanks for tuning into the video today, guys. Look forward to seeing you at the next one, so stay tuned. Peace.